Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today uh, I'm going to show you how to install, how to set up the environment for weather research and forecasting model installation. So today, <clears throat> so what we will covering in this module is the first we will try to set up the environment, system environment for the Rovarec. And then we will test our environment. And following which we will in, install some of the imp, uh, important libraries which are required for in, uh, in, in, uh, Important output processing of the data, and then we will do the libraries compatibility test, and over the, on top of it, we will build the RF and UPS. So uh, this is just the simple flow of what we are actually planning to do today. So uh, first, I am assuming that you already have the Ubuntu system. So what does it mean to set up the environment? So you need to install some of some of the essential tools. For instance. Build essential GCC, GFortran, CSH, BAS, CPP, M4. So these are important uh, tools will make sure that our uh, model or our environment is set up correctly, on which we will be able to install the model. Then we will check the whether these are installed properly or not, and then we will perform seven environmental compatibility test. And uh, in the later part, which may be included in the uh, other another video, we will install some external libraries and then we will also test their compatibility with the compiler we have installed in the second step. <laughs> then we will configure WRF and WPS after doing all these tests. So, so let's start with the installation of essential tools. So what are these essential tools? First is a build essential, CSH, DSH, GFortron, M4, CPP. So these are the essential tools we have to install today. So how we will install these essential tools? Just we have to use sudo apt get installed build essential, CSH, BSS, M4, C4. But just use this command and it will simply install all the software. Just copy and paste from the running. Okay. Okay, since I, I already have these all essential tools, it will showing that it is already installed or similar things. So now what we have to do, we have to check whether these are installed successfully or not. So you just which commands, which, which GCC. So it will show you the path. If it's not showing the path, it means it is not installed. Now check which CPP it is also in which CPP. Now check which uh, G4 from in it has been already it is already installed. So you can check all these things using which command. Similarly, you can test for other alerts. Now, one important thing I would like to mention is that uh, what we have to do, we have to check the burden of the GCC. What is the uh, burden of the GCC? How you will check? Type GCC dash dash per version. So it will show you the what is it is 4.4.5.4.0. So it is uh, it is later than 4.4.0, so we can uh, we can consider this version. If you don't have this version or you have newer version, please upgrade. Try to upgrade to 4.4 or later. Now, what are the functionality of these software and libraries? So let's briefly discuss because it will be helpful for you to understand what it does. Or also, if you whenever you encounter any errors during the compilation or even the running in during the time of running, you will be able to locate why why there is a problem and what causes the problem. So build essential, uh, what is build essential? So let's start with the build essential. Then we will discuss CSH, BAS, GFortran, CPP, M4, and CP all these things. So <clears throat> this is the package in Debian and Ubuntu based Linux distribution containing necessary tools for software development, including compilers and libraries. 
So what build uh, say improves? It improves GNU compiler collection, GNU debugger, make, EPKG, and libc. Okay. So how can we can understand this with uh, a little simpler words? Think of a build essentially the basic toolkit required for constructing a complex piece of furniture or building. It it likes it it that is like you need hammers, screwdrivers, and other tools to assemble a bookshelf. Build essentially provide the Essential tools like compiler and libraries needed for building software programs on Debian and Ubuntu-based Linux system. Now, what is C cell or Bash cell? These are the Unix command line language interpreter. So, C cell is a Unix cell which has C-like syntax used for writing scripts and executing commands, known for its built-in history and areas and features. On the other hand, Bash, which is born again cell, is another Unix cell. Offering a user friendly scripting syntax and extensive features widely used for its versatility and compatibility. So, now what is the GNU GCC? So, GNU, which is known as GNU Compiler Collection, it is a multi language compiler suit. So, it is a collection of compilers for various programming languages like C, C, and other parts of GNU project. So CCG is like a multi tool kit for building various projects. A building program is like constructing a model airplane. Airplane GCC is a set of tools that plays. It helps you cut, shape, and as assemble the parts. It includes tools for different programming languages like C for C. It includes GCC for C plus plus. It is G plus plus and others. Similar to having different attachments for wood, metal, and plastic. So what is com uh, what is a uh, compiler? So we have encountered the compiled compiler over many instances. What is, does it mean? Let us understand. The compiler is a programming language uh, that translate code written in a high level programming language that that is like C, C plus plus, and Java into a low level programming programming language like machine code or assembly language that can be understood uh, executed by the computer. So whatever we write on the computer, like Fortran, Python, or whatever language you are using, computer don't understand the English language. Computer understand only zeros and one digit, digital symbols. Because it, the instruction has to go into the motherboard. Motherboard are just the chips of the anode, uh, or, uh, chips of transistor, diodes, all these uh, electronic devices, electronic components. And these electronic components work on the digital uh, and electronics and digital electronics is just zeros and one so we have to give the electric signal for zero there is no electric signal for one there is a higher electric signal so so these that these are the things which computer understand so we have to translate the english language or we have to map the english language to the corresponding assembly language and that is the role of compiler so what is a GNU, GNU Fortran? What is G Fortran? What is G Fortran? So this is a Fortran language compiler. Okay. So compiler, is, so it is a part of GCC, but it's a GNU compiler collection. As used, it, so uh, so GC, the Fortran language is used for numerical and scientific computing. So what is the analogy? So con consider G Fortran as a specialized tool in your toolkit, especially designed for working with certain Material in this case, G Fortran is like a tool tailored for handling Fortran language material, which is often used in scientific and numerical computing. Just as wood, uh, uh, just as wood carving tools is specialized for woodworking, G Fortran is specialized for the compiling Fortran program. Now we have C processor. So what is C processor? Which is GCP, which is, which is a microprocessor for C C plus plus. So a tool used with uh, C and C++ compiler for macro expansion, condition, compilation, compilation, and file inclusion. So CPCC, we can what what we can think of in simpler simpler terms. So CP, CPP can be la uh, linked to a preparation process before the man cooking begins. Suppose you are baking a cake. CPP is like the step where you mix the basic ingredients like flour, sugar, according to the variations in the recipe, like micro macros and few directives before you actually bake or compile the program. Now what is microprocessor M4? So a powerful and versatile microprocessor used in various text processing and transformational tasks. Think of M4 as a customizable template for creating invitations. So if you are hosting a party and need to send out invitations, M4 allows you to create a single template 
where names, dates, and location can be automatically filled in. It's like having a page design and then M4 fills in a space with details for each guest. Now, so far we have discussed what important software need we need to or tools or libraries we need to install to set up our environment of our system. Now we have to do some test. So we have already installed or download. Hope you have already doing this with me. So if you have already following this, now we have to do the test. So how do we do? So create two directory. A build direct one one is build directory and another is test directory. Okay. So we have to perform seven tests. So how you will do? You will just use the mk dir build mk dir test. You have to do. Now we have to download the test scripts. So just copy this and full full copy the full command. Okay. And let's go to the our suppose I assuming that you have already made the directory of WRF. So I am tutorial. So here we have build directory, okay, and a test directory. So we have already have these two directories. So we have build directory and test directory. And you can simply create by using make mk there and use whatever directory you suppose you I want to get. But my, I want. I would like to build an AB directory. So it will create. Let's see it. Ls. So there is an AB directory. Similarly, you can create build-in test directory by your own. So let's remove this AB. We don't need this. Mm, yes. Uh, yeah. So let's it removed. Now, what we have to go to the test. Okay. Now we are in the test. What we have to do? We have to simply. Uh, we have to w gate and the link where or uh, the url of the file so let's w gate so it is let's put this is incomplete i guess so this is the first part now copy the second part as well it is not copying the full in once okay put the another part and now hit enter this will be download okay <coughs> So once it is downloaded, uh, what we have to do, we have to go and untar it. Okay. So what you do, you will use tar gphotron tar, use this command, tar minus xpf, the tar, just use this command, copy or paste, whatever you want, or you can type it. Use this simply, put it here, it will give you this the extension of all the test. Now we have to perform all the test one by one. So how do we do the testing? <clears throat> First, we have to do a fixed format photon test. So just, so this is the G-Photon test. So we have to check whether the photon programming language is working or not. So use this, paste this on your terminal. Let clear it up a little bit so that. Paste it here and let's see. Once it executed, use, uh, execute this A dot out. So it will show you the test one, success test one, photon only fixed format. Okay, now we have to do the second test. There is free for free format photon. So what is the difference between the fixed format photon? So the this the text the compilation your photon code is fixed format. It traditional format photon program. It is the old photon has been written that type of programming. Now the free format photon the checks for the ability to compile and run photon code in different format, which is more modern format style allowing for more flexibility in the coding so you can use this just to copy this or you can just type whichever convenient for you is there now do the a dot out it is also showing success test uh, to photon only format now what you have to do is to go so what it does is checks uh, ability to compile a photon in the free format now we have to check the c so the copy GCC test 3C and do this and let's check whether it will work. Test A dot out. Yes, it is working. Now, so what is what is the GCC test 3 does? It verifies the compilation and the execution of a C program, ensuring the system C compiler function correctly. Now we have to do the photon calling a C function. Okay. So let's let's copy all all four or you can type them one by one 
execute let's check whether it is exec executed or not yes so the success test photon c okay now let's do so this what what does this test does this test ensures that photon and c can be integrated by compiling and linking a c function called from photon okay now what we have to test we have to test the whether the c cell is working or not let's execute a c cell comma c cell script it is working success c cell test now check check whether parallel is working or not let's check copy this cell so working now let's check the cell script is working or not okay let's check it yes it is also working so all the tests have been successful so far so uh, i guess uh, this is for today and uh, now for in the tomorrow video what we will so what we have done today we have set up the environment okay environment for our system we have checked these are installed properly then we have performed seven tests and all test has been successful so our computer or our machine is ready for the further downloads of external libraries then in the next video we will be downloading the external libraries and we do we will do the compatibility test for them and afterward we will simply start after successful installation of these library we will be able to configure and install the wrm module so uh, <coughs> thank you very much for being with us i hope that this video uh, we uh, might be of some value to you and if you found it useful please uh, uh, like the video and uh, share with friends who might be in need for such kind of guidance guidance and uh, if you think that you may need uh, the future video might be useful for you you may consider subscribing the channel so thank you very much and i can i am looking forward to you seeing you in the next video have a good time bye bye